Hey everyone, it's Ben Hardy here, and in today's video, we're going to be reviewing the all new Ram 1500 Longhorn. Before we get into this video, though, a huge shout out and thank you to the Larch Miller Dodge Ram here in Sandy, Utah, for giving me some time with this Ram 1500 Longhorn. I'm going to include a link to their inventory in the description down below so you can check out what they have currently. And then on a side note, if you want to save time and money the next time you purchase a car, link to my car buying guide in the description down below. Let's get into it. Powering this Longhorn is a naturally aspirated 5.7 liter Hemi V8 that's paired to the e-torque system and an 8-speed automatic transmission. Power outputs are 395 horsepower and then 410 pound-feet of torque with another 130 pound-feet off of the line. And then fuel economy is 18 around town and then 22 on the highway. Now, before we go over the front end, I do want to mention, if you want to see more videos just like this, then I recommend you subscribe because I post content every single day. So starting with the hood, you guys can see it's raised there in the center and it kind of falls off on either side. And of course, we've got our 1500 Hemi e-torque badge here as well. Now with the Longhorn, you get the headlights from the Limited. So the upgraded headlights, notice got the cool daytime running lights. And then the way to tell this is a Longhorn is notice with the grill slats, how they're just horizontal across. It doesn't have the intricacies of the Limited grill. We've got fog lights there on either side and then parking sensors as well. And putting it all together, I really like the front end look of the Longhorn. I like the more simplistic grill. Coming around the side here, our time wheel setup is 275, 55, 20 in the front and over in the rear as well. You guys can see with the wheel design, you've got the silver and then you've got the gray inserts there on the center. That's another way to tell this is a Longhorn. Now this particular Longhorn is equipped with air suspension and then you guys can see the body painted fender flares here and then notice the Ram badge and then chrome on the mirrors and then the blacked door handles and then look at the chrome around the window trim. And then here's your full side view with the Longhorn with the chrome elements mixed in with this truck being black. I think it looks really sharp. So here's our key fob. We have our unlock function, our lock function, the lowering for the tailgate. We got the air suspension lowering, remote start, and then notice Longhorn there on the back. So popping into the rear, we have a payload capacity of 1,254 pounds with this specific truck. And then you guys can see we've got LED bed light action. So if I press this, it'll turn the light on, which is pretty cool. Um, five foot seven bed, if you are wondering. And then lifting up the tailgate, super easy. And then this one has the multi-function. So you can open it up like barn doors, which is pretty cool. So that makes accessing easier. And then this one also has a little kick step. All you have to do is just kind of pull it out with your foot right there and then it'll pop out or you can kick it out. Hence the name, kick step. Now I've got the cool LED lights here on the back and you guys can see four by four. You got a Ram logo and then Longhorn here on the side. And then you guys can see with the dual exhaust tips. And then if you're wondering towing capacity, you're right around 10,000 pounds. But putting it all together, again, I think the Longhorn is my favorite package on the outside. I just, I don't know, I just, I just dig it. Now this is where things get real spunky. So look at the leather trim here, and then we got some suede down below with the wood trim, and then look at this pattern. That is crazy looking. And then you got the normal storage down below. So the lighting's not very good, but you guys can kind of see the full seat view. And then if you look closer at this one, this is Longhorn there and then perforated all down the center. And you got like the suede here on the side, under seat storage, which is pretty cool. Great for water, right? And then look at the floor mats. You can take off the cloth if you want, just rubber. Then you have the ice buckets. I like how everything's color matched in here. Now legroom in the back's fantastic. This one has the reclining seat function and then you got the saddlebags, which is pretty cool. And then more of that suede. And does it go? No, it like stops in the middle. That's kind of funny. Anyways, we've got the uh, wood trim here at the top, heated and cooled seats here on the back, USBs, you got a full outlet as well. And then this one has like the center console pulled down, just pull that strap. I really like the design. This is so cool looking. And then also just a uh, bedroom. Now here is the front door panel. You guys can see here with the leather trim and the suede down below and the wood trim. And then again, look at the design with that. All of our window controls, front two are automatic. You've got the power folding mirror function, memory seats, blind spot monitoring with the mirrors as well. And then here's the front seat. Notice limited Longhorn edition, then perforated all down the center. You got the suede as well, power adjustable on top of that. Really nice looking pedals. Those are fancy. Get your pedal adjustment here. Get your light controls as well. Fog lights, cargo light, all of that. It's pretty nice. And the steering wheel is still manually adjustable. Now taking a look at the steering wheel, again, everything's color matched. It's all brown in here. Uh, don't have wood trim there at the top, but we do have a little wood insert here at the bottom. Now it's our gear limiter here. We've got this for our cruise control. You have the adaptive cruise control as well. Controls for the center stack. There are radio controls in the back of the steering wheel as well. 
So we've got this full digital gauge cluster here in the center. I think it looks really sharp and I can basically just use this to scroll through a few different menus. Notice I can actually change the whole view of the gauge cluster. I still prefer the analog setup. I think it looks best. And then you of course have the navigation screen as well. Now in reverse, we do have a 360 camera system with this truck. You can see all the different viewpoints with the truck. So that is fantastic. And frankly, resolution on it's pretty dang solid. Now this has the 12 inch display. So we've got the shortcut bar here at the bottom. And then notice I can press the different menus to go into it. So like the nav screen. It does take a second for some of the stuff to load up, as you can see. That's more than a second. Look at that, that complete. Oh, it's because I, I used, I pressed it hard enough that I thought I wanted to do the switch thing. I was like, wait a second. Um, but anyways, pretty easy system to use. You got analog climate controls on either side, line departs here at the top. This one has parking assist as well. You've got your radio controls on top of that. And then here at the bottom notes for the parking sensors, turn those on or off your tow haul mode, stability control. This is for the air suspension to adjust it. Trailer brake controls. And then you guys can see here the dial shifter for the eight speed automatic. Now it's got two wheel drive, four wheel auto, four wheel high, four wheel low, and then your Auto stop start if you want to turn that off. Got the cool Longhorn center console. Notice it says Longhorn edition. And then look at the nice wood trim here. I think that looks pretty sharp. And then you got the sliding center console set up here. You guys can see you've got a wireless phone charging pad inside. And then notice you got the USBs and everything as well. Tons of leather here on the dash, as you can see. Pretty cool with the overall design. Notice Harman Kardon. And then you can see Longhorn on the front of the glove box with the wood trim. And again, the graining has very nice texture to it. And then at the top here, we do have the rear view camera mirror, which is pretty fancy. Power sliding rear window. And then we've got a full panoramic center. Well, let's talk about visibility before we set off. Here's visibility of the hood, and hope we can now see the heads-up display. Both the mirrors, two blind spot monitoring, and throughout the rest of the rear. And dial shifter away. It's been a minute since I've driven a half-ton Longhorn, and we're doing ventilated seats. We're not having the climate controls on, though. I know that might sound weird, and also, I forgot to mention this. Look at this. That is interesting. Um, tailgate open. I will say this is one thing that I absolutely hate about this multifunction. It's so hard to close this thing. Okay, that should be good. Well, that'll be interesting for your uh, point of view. We'll see if I decide to keep that in the video or not. Okay, let's hope that it's closed now. Yeah, it looks like it's closed. That's the one downside about that tailgate is it just, yeah, just doesn't like to be closed, I've noticed. But anyways, Longhorn with air suspension. Basically, this is a Ram Limited with a Western theme. That's that's what the Longhorn is. And when I first started selling Rams, I hated this truck because I was like, this thing's ugly. This is an old man truck. And I guess maybe now everything's come full circle and maybe I'm an old man now because this is like my favorite version because this interior just feels so much cooler, so much more special. Like there's just, there's color, there's pizzazz to this interior, especially like, and you guys saw on the door panel there, just, it's just unique. So I like that. Now being a 1500 with air suspension, it drives incredibly well. It's very smooth. The Hemi is really smooth too, with the power delivery. And yeah, this trim's even on the side here. I can't believe I missed that in the walk around. It just has a nice, like, this, this, the textures here. This is a feast of textures inside. It's <laughs> the best way to put it. But yeah, it drives really well. It stays nice and planted. It's got good power out of the Hemi. It's just comfortable overall. It's quiet. All I hear is the little fan sound from the AC seat. 60 degrees almost. Man, that's crazy how. It's getting so hot so fast here in Utah. I know 60 degrees isn't super hot, but like yesterday it was like, gosh, and this road's beat up. Um, yesterday it was like, I don't know, 30 degrees. So for it to already be like 60, it's crazy. Yeah, even over like the bumps and everything there, it was, it was surprisingly smooth. Is that what I think it is? Is that a ZR1? Either that's someone that's put a wing on it to make it look like a ZR1 or that's a ZR1. So we are getting our turn here to get some acceleration action. Yeah, 
5.7 Hemi for the win. Such a good engine. Such a good engine. So to sum things up with the Longhorn, it's a window open. No, it's just wind buffeting. Um, I think this truck looks really cool on the outside. It's, it's, it's you know, pretty understated, but I think it looks good. Interior is fantastic. I wish they'd add back the wood trim. Ram, what are you doing? Why is there? Why is this not wood trim here? Um, but other than that, I love the style. Um, and then it drives really well, right? It's, it's a limited, so it drives like a limited. So let me know what you think about Longhorn, and let me know if you do Longhorn or if you do Limited. I, I would personally do Longhorn now, but I know a lot of people like the limited interior more.